Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, you've been told to solve the problem negative 3 raised to power y is equals to 5. Now, to solve this problem, you see we have a complex case here, a negative number raised to unknown and you've been told to solve for y. So what you will do, you will write negative 3 as negative 1 times 3 raised to power y is equals to 5. So when you have use the laws of indices to separate them, you will have negative 1 raised to power y times 3 raised to power y is equals to 5. Now, if you use the Euler's equation, you will have, when you have exponential i theta, exponential i theta is cos theta plus i sine theta. So, when you have theta is pi, pi radiance is 180 degrees, where there is theta, if you substitute with pi, you will get exponential pi i to be cos pi plus i sine pi. So if you substitute cos pi is like cos 180, you get negative 1. Then plus sin pi is like sin 180, you get 0. i times 0, you get 0. So negative 1 plus 0, you get negative 1. Then if theta is 2 pi, 2 pi is like 360 degrees. 2 pi radians is 260 degrees. So where there is theta, if we put 2 pi, we will have exponential 2 pi i to be the same as cos 2 pi plus i plus i sine 2 pi. So from here, cos 2 pi radians, that is like cos 360, is the same as positive 1. Then plus sine 2 pi is going to be 0. 0 times i, you just get 0. 0 times anything is 0. So in the end, we just remain with 1. Now, when we now substitute, again, when you use the exponential inverse function, when you have a case like exponential ln of x, that is just x. You, according because ln, the natural log is the inverse of the exponential function. And again, when you have ln, of exponential x that is just x according to the laws of indices because the power becomes the coefficient of the log and ln of e is 1. Now when we go back to our problem where we now have negative 1 raised to power y negative 1 we found is the same as exponential pi i so when you substitute you will get exponential pi i raised to power y then times 3 raised to power y is equals to is equals to 5. Now from the case we've seen exponential n of x is just is just x. So it means if exponential if exponential ln of x is just x then it means for you to get 3y is going to be what? It's going to be exponential ln of 3y. So, here we will have the power outside times the power inside the first part. We will have exponential pi i y. Then the second case will be exponential ln of 3 raised to power y to be equals to 5. Now, the next step, loss of indices, same base with multiplication sign, we add the powers. So we'll have exponential pi i y and from loss of in logarithms, the power y will become the coefficient, the coefficient of the log. So that will be plus y plus y ln of 3 to be equals to 5. Now for you to get rid of the power of the exponential, you introduce natural logs on both sides. So if you multiply both sides by ln, the natural log 
ln we will have the power will becomes the coefficient so we'll have pi i y plus y ln of 3 is equals to ln of 5 now this side of the equation y is a common factor if you factorize out y you will remain with pi i plus ln of 3 inside the bracket to be the same as ln of 5 so for you to get y you will divide both sides with its coefficient so if you divide both sides with this coefficient you'll get y to be ln of 5 over pi i plus ln of ln of 3 and that is how to solve for such kind of problems thank you for watching and if you like the video don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel see you next time